Hi, I'm Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is dual gate MOSFET. In dual gate MOSFET, as the name says, two gate terminals are used. The second gate terminal is used to control and reduce the feedback capacitance between input and output and thus it makes the amplifiers more stable. This is the symbol of dual gate MOSFET and these are the symbols of dual gate depletion MOSFET. This is N channel and P channel and this is the symbol of dual gate enhancement MOSFET and this is for N channel and this is for P channel. But P channel is not used mostly because the mobility of holes is very low than the mobility of electrons. This is the construction of dual gate MOSFET. The double gate MOSFET is manufactured using silicon on insulator method. Silicon channel is grown over silicon dioxide layer. It looks like two FETs connected in series. So the highly doped N middle block acts as the drain for the first fit and the source for the second fit. And about the structure in detail, the gate outside between gate and the channel is the dielectric layer and the metal used for gate is conductor and the channel is also conductor. So all these three layers together form the capacitor. So it is like two capacitors connected in series. The total capacitance connected in series is lesser than the individual capacitance. So two gates are used to reduce the feedback capacitance at high frequencies. The voltages at both the gates controls the flow of current in the channel. And this is the working of dual gate MOSFET. So in the above diagram there are two gates and two FETs. They are top gate and bottom gate and top fit and bottom fit. In the top gate voltage is applied and kept constant and the voltage in the bottom fit is varied and it is analyzed. It is found that when the applied voltage is above 3 volt that is the threshold voltage to the top gate it remains in the saturation region. This is the VI characteristics. The voltage applied at the first gate is kept at 3 volt and kept as constant. The applied voltage at the second gate is varied and the drain and source voltage is also varied and the drain current is observed. The threshold voltage is 3 volt. The drain current increases and remains in saturation region where the current is almost constant. The advantages are higher drive currents at lower supply voltage and threshold voltage, reduced channel and gate leakage current at off state which saves power, separate gate control on voltage saves power and chip area. Challenges are identically sized gates, self alignment of source and drain to both gates, alignment of both gates to each other, Connecting two gates with low resistance path. The applications are it is used in mixers, demodulators, cascade amplifiers, RF amplifier, AGC amplifier. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.